Hello everyone, Eric Watson here, freelance writer, player of games, writer of words, recorder of videos, and tabletop role-playing aficionado. Recently, a publisher on the DMs Guild reached out to me to review their product. That's not unusual and happens all the time, but I recognized the name Jason Bradley Thompson, also known as a Mockman, and you should too, as he illustrates these wonderful D&D dungeon walkthrough adventure maps of classic modules such as Tomb of Horrors, White Plume Mountain, and Isle of Dread. Here's an example of uh, what they look like. And when I told him what a fan I was, and, and by the way, I have a folder of over a dozen of these fun illustrations. Every time I see one pop up, I immediately save it and just look at it for funsies. And they're just so much fun, and I love the art style and everything. It's almost like a uh, if someone if if a sadistic DM designed like a Where's Waldo book and when I told him what a fan I was he sent me several of his actual physical posters and these are incredible and I want to show you what they look like so you just saw the picture of Tomb of Horrors this is the actual Tomb of Horrors illustration done by Jason and I fucking love this I love it so much uh, the art style is incredible it's so much fun this one is uh, 13 by 18. It's the smallest, by the way, of the illustrations. And all of them are designed like, almost like a roguelike, but with a D&D party, which is, it, it's interesting because I think D&D has changed a lot with 5th uh, edition, is much less about killing characters and more about um, almost a TV series where maybe characters can die, but it, it's more about the growth of the characters. Well, this these kind of goes back to that old school style where it's more like you make a character and uh, there's a good chance they're going to die in this adventure. And the way that uh, Jason does it is by giving you a party of care, a, a large party, like anywhere from six to like 12 people. And I'll show you some of the other ones. And then they go through the entire module and they've got little notes written that tells you exactly what happens each beat along the path. And these are accurate to the original modules. I've uh, The only one I'm really familiar with is, I think, Tomb of Horrors, uh, because I've gone back and actually read and looked through that one, and obviously I played uh, Tomb of Annihilation, which uh, bases a lot of the Tomb of the Nine Gods mega dungeon out of this original absolute killer dungeon. So you can follow an actual story. There's a little one, two, three, four, uh, as the party goes along and they die and they trigger all the traps and they fight the monsters. It's a ton of fun. So it's one of those that's a fun piece of art, but also you can sit there and stare at it and actually like have a story uh, be told to you. So that's the smallest one. And then we've got this. Uh, this is a series of kind of the medium size of posters. Uh, which the ones that I was sent is the Slave Pits of Undercity, the Lost Caverns of Sojanth, Sojakanth, and the uh, the Isle of Dread, which, forgive me for all the paper-sounding noises you're going to get. Uh, this is the other one that was Tomb of Annihilation was uh, based off of the module, because this is the Jungle Crawl with uh, Dinosaurs. Uh, these posters are 18 by 24, and again, feature the exact same, and I apologize for the glare, I'll try to angle it correctly. Uh, the exact same art style with the exact same, you know, huge uh, party of characters. And then they go along uh, this dungeon, or in this case, an overland map that was kind of turned into a dungeon. And it's a beat by beat. You know, they've got all the little uh, uh, plot beats that you can follow. And they've even got little, you know, conclusions at the end and epilogues. And usually most of the characters have died or turned into zombies or had some kind of curse befall them or something. Then you get to the really crazy ones. I'm not even sure I can hold. I'm going to hold up one of these. This is the... <laughs> I can't get it all on here. Uh, this is the... Uh, I believe it's called the Giants Trilogy, um, which includes uh, Steading of the Hill Giant Chief, apparently the first ever D&D &D adventure. Uh, and he also sent the, uh, the Frost Giant and Fire Giant uh, dungeons as well, which are huge, huge, mega... I can't even get this whole thing uh, on here. This is a 24 by 36... Uh, poster size, which is absolutely enormous. Probably going to only be able to put one of these up, but the wife and I are super stoked about these. We're already debating on which ones to frame and hang up and where to put them, but I wanted to share this with all of you because stupid me didn't even realize these were available to purchase at mockman.com. Now, this video is not at all sponsored. Jason did not send me these expecting anything, and nor was his DM's Guild product, which is called Dungeon Babies, 
uh, was even a sponsored review. So Forza will be covering it for many, many months. But I wasn't so impressed by how these turned out that I wanted to share it with all of you because I know you're all D&D fans, especially you old school fans with memories of some of these classic adventures. So we look at the website and uh, because I want to share that with you, store.mockman.com is where you can pick these up. And it looks like there's actually a sale going on uh, right now on many of the, or all of them, it looks like. Uh, and it looks like you can get the the giants, all three of those giant maps uh, in one pack and the rest are uh, single purchases, but they seem like really, really good prices. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is some of them are sold out, which I was really bummed about Castle Ravenloft because obviously that's a, a magic one, but I understand uh, you know, uh, Curse of Strahd is a hugely popular D&D adventure in 5th edition, so that makes sense. But please do check out this website at mockman.com. Support this dude. Pick up some posters. And you can also check out his new release on the DMs Guild called Dungeon Baby. So shout out to Mockman. Thank you so much for sending these uh, to me. And uh, I really hope that some of you check out these posters. And I will be uh, spending the next couple weeks uh, redecorating. <laughs> Bye.